stretched somewhere along the East Coast as far north as New York. That is the news for now, 6.36. Back to Christine and Darren. Thanks, Tyson. Okay, let's get more on uh, what's happening in uh, Libya. The Gaddafi regime seems to be in its death throes. His 42-year rule is coming to an end. Overnight, uh, joyful rebels continue to seize weapons and loot and destroy symbols of the dictatorship, which they see as being over. Uh, there are still pockets of resistance in Tripoli uh, and to the north of the country in Gaddafi's hometown of Sirte. Joining us uh, now from Leicester is Dr. Hala Diab. Good morning, uh, Dr. Diab. Um, you met Gaddafi back in 2007, Good um, so you do have a bit of a measure of this man. He says he's going to fight to the end, although he is on the run. NATO are saying they are confident that he hasn't left the country. So what is going to happen to him in the next two days? He surely can't run forever. Um, I think that Gaddafi is still even in Tripoli or maybe on the border between Libya and Algeria or maybe border between Libya and, and Egypt. I don't think that he's the kind of man who will sl surrender and just leave the country um, at the moment. And we can see uh, all these mind games that he has been playing uh, by uh, Saif, Saif Gaddafi, his son, who appeared in the streets of Tripoli in order to assure people that he is still alive. And he has not been arrested and also um, that Gaddafi has claimed or he has said that he will be um, uh, recording an audio interview to talk to people in order to show that he is still officially the leader of Libya. We saw pictures of Saif there, his son who's also seemingly on the run with him. What's the significance, uh, Dr. Diab, of the rebels getting into the compound and being able to, to loot those possessions of Colonel Gaddafi. Uh, one chap we saw actually got into his bedroom and was wearing a, a hat that he famously wore a few years ago. Um, I think symbolic, from a symbolic point of view, uh, going into his compound for the rebels, um, it shows the fall of the uh, Gaddafi regime. However, officially, as, as, as you know, that uh, Gaddafi hasn't resigned yet. He is still the leader of the, the government. He is still clenching to the power. And I think that um, there is a lot of aggression and anger in the streets of Libya. And this has been sh shown through the rebels looting and destroying and firing the compound of Gaddafi and this shows drastically the aggression the Libyans have been exposed to by Gaddafi and they, they project that now into his uh, properties. Would, would you ever consider going back to, to live there? I know you were, you were born and raised, uh, maybe not yourself perhaps, but, but others that you know, Libyans that have left because of the unrest over the last few years, do you think people might consider going back to Libya at some point in the near future? There are a lot of Libyans who have left Libya uh, for years because of, uh, of the regime. And I think that um, for sure most of the Libyans who have left because of Gaddafi regime, they have now a big chance and opportunity to go back home. Uh, but what is worrying is the, uh, the, the lack of, 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 uh, of uh, security and stability at the moment in Libya, which I think will need some time for Libya to go back into its feet and to, for the order to be restored. Uh, Dr. Diab, thanks very much indeed uh, for your time this morning. Coming up after the break, the silent killer. 12 million people have high blood pressure in the UK, but how many of them have been wrongly diagnosed by their doctor? We'll find out after the break.